Welcome. SAP Yard Logistics for S4 HANA helps companies run efficient truck, container, and rail yard operations. In this video, we will look at an outbound example, a pickup of a container. This video presents a high-level and generic overview of a specific SAP product or functionality. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. The goal of this video is to provide information that will make you better equipped to make your own choices. Let's begin by looking at some of the benefits of Yard Logistics. SAP Yard Logistics improves process visibility. It accelerates gate-in and gate-out processes. It enables more efficient use of assets and areas. Just like its larger siblings, EWM and TM, Yard Logistics is part of SAP supply chain execution platform. It strengthens and bridges the gap between warehouse and transportation management by providing first-class support for Yard operations. In our video, SAP Yard Logistics for S4 HANA, inbound, truck with a trailer, we introduced some of the core concepts of Yard Logistics, and also explain how it differs from the yard management function in SAP EWM. In that video, we learned that Yard Logistics has three main objects. Yard requests, yard orders, and yard tasks. The purpose of a yard request is to identify the workload for the yard, for example, based on planned incoming or outgoing transports. A yard request is created during the planning phase. A yard order represents the workload to be executed within a certain time period based on the planning from the yard requests. Yard tasks are definitions of activities that must be completed. They are activities that model all kinds of services on the yard like unloading, moving a transportation unit to a storage place, cleaning a transportation unit, repairing a transportation unit etc. In this video, we will see how an outbound and inbound yard order can be connected to each other, through an outbound example, with an empty truck picking up and leaving with a container. Let's have a look at our outbound scenario. We have an outbound delivery, a pickup of a container, that eventually will lead to two connected yard orders. First, we have an outbound yard order for the outgoing process of the container, starting by bringing a truck from the inside parking lot, cleaning it and later performing the necessary steps of loading the container, performing checks and eventually leaving the premises. When a truck arrives to pick up our container, we will create a connected inbound yard order, in order to perform the check-in and handover to the outbound process. We will utilize a number of fewer apps during the demo. We will kick off by having a look at an existing outbound yard order. At the header level, we can see some key order characteristics. It is still in planned mode and has yet not started. On the item tab, we can see that a truck has been assigned to the order and that the container that shall be picked up, in turn, is connected to the truck. On the item details, we can see additional information about the two transportation units, the truck and the container. For each transportation unit, there is a loading scheme. The loading scheme represents among other things, the layout and loading order for each involved TU. Since the truck is picking up only one container, the container will occupy level 1 and position 01 on the truck. Switching to the task tab, we will see all planned activities or more precisely, yard tasks. Looking at the first task we can see that it represents a movement, and that the destination is the washing station. The next task is not a movement. It takes place in the washing station and represents the actual washing of the incoming truck. After the washing, a movement to the loading location needs to take place. Then follows the loading of the container onto the truck. After loading we will move the truck to a parking lot, preparing for some checks. At the parking lot, several checks will take place, so another example of a non-movement task. After completion of checks, the last and final task will be to perform checkout and leave the premises. As mentioned before, to be able to check in the empty truck, we will need to create an inbound yard order. Connected to the outbound order. We can create it directly from the header menu in the outbound yard order. On the new inbound yard order, we will enter a unique reference. This reference will be used by the driver when performing a check-in on the self-check terminal. Time for action. We will perform a driver self-check-in when a truck arrives at the yard. The self-check-in app supports multiple languages. It opens up a configurable process flow for the driver to fill in. We start by entering our inbound delivery reference.
Since this is our first trip to this facility, we will have to register as a new driver. The registration screen allows us to fill in relevant details before moving on. On the next screen details about our vehicle is automatically populated from the dock appointment. It can be modified if needed. Check-in is completed. We are kindly asked to move to the parking lot. As soon as the truck is checked in, it becomes visible in the graphical yard cockpit. We will look at it, a few times during our demo, and see how it moves around in the yard as we progress with the different yard tasks. For yard task execution, we will utilize the Fury-based app with the same name. With its responsive design, it can run on tablets and mobile phones as well. Each task contains a number of tabs, allowing for each task pictures to be taken, measurements to be done, questionnaires to be filled in etc. The first task represents the move from the parking lot to the washing station. We start the task, we move the truck and confirm. A quick look into the graphical yard cockpit shows us the truck has moved to the washing station. On the yard order, we can see that the first task has been completed and the next one is active. On header level, we see that the order itself is active, and partially completed. Next task is the washing. We start and confirm the task in record speed. On the yard order, we can see that the second task is confirmed. We push forward and take on the next task. We move the truck from the washing station and to the loading location. A view in the yard cockpit shows that the truck is in place, at the loading point. It's time for loading of the container onto the truck. A task we start and confirm in the app. We can see a replay of the loading in the graphical cockpit. A view in the yard order, show us the task already completed, and those still to be performed. We now need to move the truck from the loading point to the outbound parking lot. A task we eagerly start and confirm in the app. In the next task, we will introduce a couple of new elements. At the outbound parking lot, several controls need to be performed. We start and try to confirm the task immediately. We get an error message. The task has been set up with measurements, and we need to complete them before finishing. A new error message. We also need to fill in a questionnaire. We do that and are finally able to confirm the task is completed. In the yard order, we can see that only one more task is to be completed. We quickly confirm the last task and leave the premises. A look in the yard order confirms this, as the status is now set to complete. We perform a final checkout of the order, and we are done. Mission accomplished. SAP Yard Logistics for S4 HANA is available as an add-on to S4 HANA Enterprise Management or a standalone S4 HANA application connected to S4 HANA Enterprise Management or Legacy ERP. Before we end this video, let's recap some of the benefits of SAP Yard Logistics. SAP Yard Logistics improves process visibility. It accelerates gate-in and gate-out processes. It enables more efficient use of assets and areas. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.